a new day here and um, I did a little work off camera the battery died so uh, oops sorry but um, I got the axle all taken apart this is the old one that came off of there uh, yep little taco there but um, I got it all taken apart it was kind of a pain in the butt getting this uh, getting this axle out of here with a knuckle on there because the axle was pushed back and the knuckle was or the knuckle was pushed back and the axle was pushed forward so um, but we're able to get that out of there um, and then I did some looking all over Craigslist, Facebook, everywhere and I found this axle right here I paid a thousand dollars for the housing, the front housing here and the two axle shafts, these are stock um, and then he's got he put the ARB cover on there and it's got an Aussie locker in it. Um, not sure if we're going to use that or not. I've got the gears from the open diff right there that I might put back in. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see how drivable this is on the road because he said it will lock up on the road. Um, but I don't know. We'll just we'll see down the road. Um, and then I, I paid another hundred bucks for this cover here and uh, got the rear one to match the Dana 44. So. I am going to take these, clean them up, and uh, we're going to paint them blue to match the Jeep. Um, we're also going to paint a few more things, uh, suspension, the control arms, maybe shocks, I'm not sure, um, but we'll see. Um, let's see, also, I took the back bumper off there and made some measurements, just made sure um, the body you know was sitting straight on the frame here and it is so that's that's a good sign um, but yeah I got that all off um, let's see oh I did make measurements on the frame up forward too I measured um, you know from mount here up to the upper corner over here on both sides to relative points and um, it did come out true, so the front of this frame is square, which is another good sign. Um, and then, you know, when you make measurements up here on the, you know, the core support and the uh, fender supports in here, when you make this this crossway measurement, it does come up to be off, and I think it's about an inch off. But now, today, we're going to get to, uh, just going to do a little bit of work. I'm going to get this all cleaned up. Get some wire wheels here. From good old tractor supply. Earplugs, can't have enough of those. Um, yeah, some good wire wheels and some uh, rust oleum glossy enamel. We're going to get it all wire wheeled down, get all this surface rust off here. Clean it up, brake clean it, and then uh, we'll paint it gloss black. So, uh, let's get to work.
What's up everyone? It's the next day after we painted this axle here and uh, I put the knuckles back on it. It turned out pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully that'll hold up for a little bit. At least look better than it did. All rusty and dirty and dingy. But um, today I'm going to go ahead I'm going to throw this axle back together. Um, I'm going to put the shafts in it and uh, put the hubs on it and get everything all ready to go back in the Jeep. And also, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to throw that back bumper on. Get that mounted, see what it looks like. shield um, and axle and uh, knuckle on there as well we got the tie bar on there and everything actually looks pretty straight let's see yeah put that see that looks about straight there and uh, that one looks straight as well so, um, I don't think this bar really got bent. 
Um, the truth to tell, when we put the tires on and uh, do an alignment on the Jeep. But uh, this one, I couldn't get this hub on because one of the bolts got stripped out. So um, I think that probably happened when I was removing it. I was beating on it pretty hard. But uh, no big deal. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. Um, pulled the plastic off the Jeep and uh, saved it for later because I'm sure we'll be needing it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this back bumper. Alright, here we go. So that'll be about all for tonight. We got um, made some progress, got the axle for the most part put back together, just gotta get that hub on there, and uh, got that back bumper on. So pretty happy with that. I'm um, waiting on the oil pan, I ordered that, along with a new dip dipstick tube. Messed that up, pulling it out. Um, but we'll get those, should be in later this week. So when they come in, we'll do another video putting those on, and we'll get this front axle put back on and uh, we'll get her rolling and driving around and then uh, hopefully we'll get that that uh, subframe pulled over but uh, that'll be all for tonight